Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make audio visualizer video clips only with using FL Studio and also make sure to check my latest release, Diamonds. I made the whole music video in FL Studio and today I'm gonna show you how to make yours and if you're ready, let's get into the tutorial. When you finish your music, just put it to the fresh project and put it to the playlist and it's good if you use WAV only. All you need to do is put the Z game visualizer. When you do it, you will have have two screens one is preview screen one is a really complicated screen and today I'm not gonna get into that much details because you can do it really simple way with the wizard button in here we will find a nice preset from the wizard then we go back and edit it from this complicated window so let's play it first <laughs> Okay, there's nothing right now. So let's go to the wizard. In here, you will see plenty of different templates and they are really good. All of them really nice. So you will preview the changes in this screen. It's not gonna smooth as the final render because it's rendering the real time. That's why it's gonna be a bit laggy. You can choose one of these presets. This is really nice. So this was also so cool. And there are some geometric shapes like this. There are almost one preset, one template for every possible genre. If I release a techno track, I will definitely use this one, like the fractal shapes. They, it's really looking nice. So let's say we choose this one. We have to write the track's name to here. So, And if you un choose the editor, you get rid of the icons so you can clearly see what is going on. And then you're gonna write one name and maybe from here we can write some genre just a comment you can leave it blank as well or maybe you can just write it like something like this or something that represents the track so we have a timer in here which is really nice but maybe we can make it a bit bigger I'm just clicking and dragging from here so you can move this guy to anywhere in the track you want. Also, I think you can make it bigger too, like with the, like with the scroll. Maybe we can put it still there, but we can make it big. So as I can see, like it's the audio spectrum visualizer. There's only one problem with this wizard. You cannot play the track from here you have to close the wizard and then you can play the track and which is really bad thing if you know how to fix it please let me know in the comment section in the wizard i'm just making my adjustments i like the background i don't know which effect is this but there's a process tab when you see the process tab determines the effect when the music plays and which effect is gonna take place so let's choose continue and render and cancel it so you exit the wizard and you have this complicated window. It looks like Ableton from left to right. It's like the order. And you can mute and unmute some stuff. Which module is affecting which elements in the video. So let's hear how it's now sounds or look like. It looking nice, but I think we can have some more dramatic effect when the music plays. So I'm gonna just play the music and I'm not gonna talk when music is playing. I'm gonna go to the wizard and I'm gonna choose and see which effects we have. So the RGB is really nice. When the music plays, the RGB is shifting from the video. But I think the audio shake is more obvious. Like when the music plays, it's gonna zoom in and zoom out to the video. And you don't need to adjust it from here as well. Let's 
close this window and let's find the audio shake. Yes, it's just here. And then now we can just tweak it while the music plays. And like this, you can give any effect. Let's choose another template and see what we can do with them. I'm gonna close this window off and I'm gonna play the track. So with this, like when the music plays, there are some colors going on, some, some lights going on. Or you can go like any other video like this. Okay, let's choose this one this time. I think this is really dope. So let's maybe automate some things to make it even more customized to belong to your track. I'm gonna find this is techno the text, which is this one. And we have a size button in here. So maybe I can just create automation clip to do size and I can do like this. And even from now on, you can add more stuff. So let's choose the plus button. And I'm gonna choose some particles, maybe some fluids. Let's make it a bit bigger. You can control the saturation and the size. And like there are so many parameters in here. And also the good thing, you can automate these parameters as well. Maybe I can make it that big. And I can create its size and automation clip. And I can do something like this. You get the point. And for example, right now the particles are in the foreground. If you want to push it to the background, you just have to move them a bit to the left until they get back. For example, let's put them behind the text. So I'm pressing shift and left, left, left. It's right now two back and we can just put it in here. And also, I'm gonna tell you one more thing. For example, let's say you like the texture of it, but you wanna change it to the background. So all you need to do, just click Browse, and you can put your own background to do here. Or even you can choose one of the best backgrounds I have ever seen. Let's check some of those. There are really amazing backgrounds in there. And also like, these ones those ones are re looking really professional let's try with this and okay let's say you put this one enough time and you created a really good music video how to export it and put to the streaming platforms all you need to do is click export video and you will see plenty of different templates export templates you can choose youtube you can choose full hd 4k 5k or even instagram portrait instagram story so it's gonna fit to the phone so tiktok facebook there are plenty of settings i recommend you to use youtube 4k and you can go to the advanced settings and choose like 20 megabits i think that will be enough so 60 frame per second would be better and then let's make the audio quality a bit bigger and then you are good to go don't forget you have to copy this credit to the video because if you 
use some of the presets or backgrounds from some creators, you have to give them some credit because they are including this to the FL Studios all version. And it's really good. You can just watch the diamonds video. I really enjoyed making it. It's simple and it looks so cool and professional, I think. So it's a worth to check out plugin. Only problem, it cannot use the hardware acceleration from the GPU. It's only working with the CPU and the render time like for a 4K video I think six or eight hours I spent my time. I wait my computer to handle. Yeah, that's the only problem. The render time are a bit slow. But other than that, it's really amazing plugin. So today that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye.